Hello and welcome to my channel, it's been a while, I'm back, it's been three weeks without internet which has been a nightmare, I've just moved house but I'm happy to be back and we have a new update on horse reality and it is the Akal Teke um, update, I hope I said that right, this is a, a horse name that is really hard for me to pronounce, so the Akal Teke update, so let's just have a look, this is the old artwork here and it, it wasn't too bad actually, I didn't particularly like it, some of the horse colorations were quite, um, let's say, bright, um, the yellow ones, it's a bit like pea, <laughs> to be honest, um, but this one, this cremello color here, wasn't actually too bad. The thing that I didn't like was um, the feet placement, the hoof, hoof placement, it looked a bit janky, it looked like this um, mare especially, um, that this leg down here was uh, shorter than the rest, but the artwork wasn't that bad, it was in need of an update. Um, the mare always looked a bit aloof and the male kind of looked kind and the foal always looked kind of cute in my opinion. But let's just see the, the difference in comparison. So this is the old artwork and then this is the new artwork and wow, um, I like that they've kept the same sort of poses. Um, they have slightly turned the mare's head so um, she's kind of like looking around and the stallion it seems as though they've kept pretty much the same pose they've just updated the coloration and the faces and the eyes and everything and the foal looks really cute i love the little um necks the necks look better so much better they don't look like giraffes anymore they look spot on actually i just love how they've done the tails so much floof going on in the tails and movement as usual with the horse reality um, art updates they have got great artists and the colors and the movement and the life that they give these horses when they update them is absolutely fantastic it's one of the things that makes horse reality one of the most popular web browser horse games is that it just has such fantastic artwork so let's go take another look at some more of the um, horses all right so I wanted to have a look at like just kind of in game what they look like in game now this is a mare this is one of my favorite colors it's like this i would call it a sooty buckskin it may not be completely accurate it's a sooty something maybe a sooty um yeah i would say it's a sooty buckskin or a sooty bay something like that but i just love these dapples in the coloration here and um, i expect these horses are probably going for a lot of money at the moment i haven't looked at the prices but i can only imagine um you know what happened with thoroughbred and everything like that that these prices are going to explode at the moment. Everyone's going to want this new artwork in their collection. Personally, I'm going to stick to Pre because that's my kind of breed. I love the artwork for Pre and I don't have enough stable space to start another breed, even though I'd really like to. Um, here's another example of a foal with a really cute little, I would call that maybe a shark fin marking there I'm not quite sure and a massive blaze on its face and these cute little socks it's just so cute I love it and here's another example of a stallion and he has the most beautiful dapple markings on him like grey dapple really really pretty beautiful horse and this is from beautiful horses the state of Asia as well which is uh, quite appropriate but yeah um, I can only imagine the prices that these are going for these days um, it must be a lot. I, I don't want to even look because they're probably going to be in the hundreds of thousands for good ones. I expect most people will be doing um, confirmation and there might be a few people going into competition or who will want to develop the breed even more in competition now. Personally that's what appeals to me more, the competition side of things, even though it is harder work because you have to train and look after your horses a bit more than confirmation, which you don't really have to do a lot, you just breed them and um, there will be obviously people that breed for colour and GP score and everything, but um, yeah, if I was going to do them I would probably, I think they do endurance and flat race pretty sure that's what this breed uh, excels in so that would be probably if I was going to do competition what I would be breeding them for um, but yeah um, as for what's going on in my stables well I'm still with my pre's and I've organized all my stable blocks like this because I'm at a point now where I have got mostly pre's in the 90s uh, these are my mares in the 90s and my stallions in the 90s. I've started breeding into the 90s now, the dressage score. I still have a lot of mares in the 80s, in fact quite a few. And then here is my 80s um, 
stallions, well, I gelded them because I'm no longer going to be breeding them and I'm not going to be selling them. So I just wanted to geld them because they're retired from breeding now and they will just be used for competition because these four horses here, um, they do quite well in competition so I don't really want to get rid of them or retire them. They do make me some money so I will be keeping them till they pass away and they will be just for competition. And then these mares here in the 80s are still going to be used for breeding and they because they do produce um, you know foals that are in the 90s some of these as well and you know I, I wanted to start introducing some different colors as well so I bought a gray I accidentally well not accidentally I stupidly retired a mare who was a really really pretty gray color let's see if I can find her quickly uh, in retirement here here she is Soraka I don't know why I retired this horse she was really pretty her score wasn't too bad um, I don't know if she actually achieved much oh yeah she she did over she won at least over 10 um, competitions in first place so she wasn't too bad um, but yeah, I don't know why I retired her, because I could have got some really good um, foals out of her, which is a shame. But, you know, we learned from our mistakes, and I think I needed this space because I don't have... I've got like 20... 60... yeah, I've got like 20 slots available now, so I do need to start earning more money, converting it into DP and buying more stables. At the moment, I do not have any foals. Um, because I did take a little bit of a break from the game when I was uh, just before I moved house I took a break from the game and When I came back there was a whole bunch of foals and stuff not being looked after so I, I mostly I think sold or retired and Got rid of them and sorted it all out and uh, rebred all my mares. So all of them are pregnant at the moment um, so I'm hoping to get some more little ones coming along soon and then I decided to go into Rabicano coat so there's very few breeders in pre who have um, Rabicano coat with high dressage score so what I thought was I would purchase some as high as I could I managed to get two pretty good mares here and decent stallions these won't like becoming first place or anything but the idea with them is to breed up the score using these um, so this is a rab carrier so um, with the rab carrier his parents um, one was a rabicano and one was not a rabicano and then that makes him a rab carrier so what I could do is either breed him with another rab carrier for a chance of getting a rabicano coat and then eventually I will end up being able to breed full Rabicanos with each other and two full Rabicanos bred together will produce a Rabicano foal. So uh, it's really weird that I bought this horse here, Mohawk, because back in his pedigree here, this horse was mine, Fantasia and Phantasma and Feliz. Um, so I actually bred some of his ancestors here and then my friend um, looks like she bred Casimiro, which is one of her um, studs from her stables. Oh no, okay, so it looks like I used her stud from her stable with Fantasia and we had Kashmir here, who I then obviously sold on, and then this person who owned Kashmir bred with a Rabicano and got Mohawk, who then put it up for sale, and then I ended up buying it back. It's funny how you end up with horses um, down the line that you had uh, some input with their breeding. It's actually really satisfying and part of the reason I love horse reality. Um, so yeah, apart from that, that's the plan right now to start breeding in some Rabicano coats and breeding up the dressage score. I know there are some breeders who have managed to do quite well with it. There's one person in Africa, I believe, on in-game Africa, and they have managed to breed a 297 dressage score um, Rabicano spaceship or something like that, I believe, and from that person I have reserved a couple more, I think three more foals coming from them and they're all fillies and then I'll be able to use them in my breeding program as well so it's pretty good that we're all kind of working together to bring this beautiful coat which I absolutely adore, love the Rabicano coat especially in pre um, into my dressage horses. As for competitions, well uh, my horses are doing quite well. Um, I always take them into dressage and I do all breeds and then the pre specific breed as well. Um, I did enter them earlier so let's have a look how they're doing. So this is how kind of on average how I kind of 
score in the competitions at the moment. Um, I'm just sort of like training horses up as I go. Obviously more horses are um, up here in the lower end and then eventually as you train them up they get down to here into Grand Prix. I've only got three in Grand Prix and I'm planning to probably move up a couple. If I go back I'll be able to see a little bit better. So here you can see like what horses I've got in each category and um, some of them are obviously still in training. So I've got obviously a huge amount here in the first few categories. And then as we go down it's less and less and less because it takes more time to train them up so uh, what i do is i use my scoring system where like this is for um let me just go onto my kind of page here and it explains it a little bit better okay so um, when i put a star it means they have the star predicate then when a horse has placed first in its discipline more than 10 times it gets this little diamond logo here and I know that that horse is probably good to then start levelling up. A horse that doesn't receive this I know is probably not worth the training so I will probably just keep them in the first category and not really bother moving them up. Um, this is my page at the moment by the way, I did a little revamp and I did used to have a list and all my studs here in PNG form. It was a lot to maintain um, with studs coming and going so I just in the end just included a link to my horses page and I made sure that all of my stallions and studs were at the top here. So that's pretty much it for today, um, that's horse reality right now, um, as for what artwork will come next I don't know, there are rumours that it might be the Arabian, that would be amazing to see the new Arabian artwork because they do such a good job with their updates and um, we had the Braben and the Pre was recently done, Frisian didn't do as well, I have to say that out of all of the updates so far the Frisian caused the most controversy and I kind of wanted to get back into them, I tried, but I really, um, I don't know, I just didn't feel the love for them so then I went into pre and I think out of all the new art updates the Frisian was the most controversial, yeah, but everything else has done really well, Thoroughbred was a new breed, that did really well, I mean the prices for Thoroughbreds are insane, I would definitely not be able to afford to do Thoroughbreds, um, but yeah, those, were, those horses look great, I love the Thoroughbred, but um, the Akalteke is just amazing so I am very tempted to go into it but um, like I said I've only got 20 stable slots left and I'm heavily invested into pre so I'm just going to stick with pre and admire the Akalteke artwork um, so yeah let me know what you guys are doing on horse reality whether you still play I know that I still message some of you in game uh, you can always message me in game if you want to it's fine I always try and reply if I can and that's it for today it's good to be back Take care and goodbye.